Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from down under, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get unlimited FPS in Crunker.io in the browser, and also how to get a massive FPS boost too. I'm also going to show you guys how to download Crunker.io clients to your computer. I'm going to show you guys how to download the official one, and then also I'm going to show you how to download the MTZ custom client and the C client custom client, which is personally the client that I use. Now, the majority of you guys watching this video right now probably play Crunker.io in a web browser, probably Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Well, there's another browser I want to show you guys, and in my opinion, you get a very significant FPS increase. Really, really significant, and it's actually worth trying out. Alright, so the browser that I use is called Brave Browser, and basically it's an offshoot of Google Chrome that has some performance increases when you go and play Crunker.io. I've been using it for the past year and a half, you know, playing sometimes Crunker on it, sometimes not, but lately the performance in Crunker has been really, really good, and it's my suggested way to go and play Crunker. Now, there is a link in the description below. It's my referral code. I'm not getting paid to go and make this video, but if you use that link when you go and download Brave, it goes and helps out the channel a lot. So it's a good way to go and support me if you want to. So link in the description below, go and download Brave if you want to go and get more FPS in Crunker.io. Overall, it's pretty easy. You just click this button and just wait for it to go and download. You go here, you press save, you wait for it to download. You press on here in the bottom left hand corner when it goes and pops up. You click yes, you wait for it to download, you wait for it to install and then it will just go and pop up nice and easy. And overall, I've compared Chrome versus Brave versus Mozilla and overall Brave goes and gets me better performance. So that's why I suggest you guys to use it. Now when you first download and install Brave and then hop over to Crunker.io, you'll see that your FPS is going to be limited by the refresh rate of your monitor. Now for most of you guys, that's going to be 60 so you're going to be capped at 60 frames per second and you can't go any higher even though your laptop your laptop might be powerful enough to go past 60 fps to 100 200 fps and beyond so what you guys need to go and do to get unlimited fps to unlock your fps in crunker is one very simple trick all right, so this is pretty easy to do, but I'm going to step you through it because there is a few steps involved. The first thing that you need to do is go to your start button right here and then just type in Brave. And as you can see, it says Brave app. Now, what we need to do is right click that little Brave thing right here and then click pin to taskbar. This is very, very important. Now, as you can see in your taskbar at the very end, there is now a Brave Icon. Now, if we go and click that and then go to Crunker.io, you'll go and see that our FPS is not unlimited. So there is something that we need to go and change. And as you can see, we're capped at my refresh rate. So what you guys need to do is make sure that Brave is closed and then go to the bottom here where the icon is and right click it. Then what you need to go and do is where it says this little Brave icon again with the Brave text, right click that and then press properties. And as you can see, it pops up this window. It looks a little bit complicated, but there's only one thing that we need to go and change. We need to go and right here after target, press one space. Make sure not to go and change anything with here with this stuff. Don't go and mess with that. Just put one space and then copy paste something that I've put in the description. And it's dash dash disable dash frame dash rate dash limit and copy and paste it right here. So as you can see, we've copy pasted that right here. Nothing else has changed. Then we need to press apply, then OK. And then we'll go and press the Brave icon to boot up the web browser. And we'll go straight into a Crunker game because that was the last uh, website that I was on. And as you can see, my FPS is now unlimited. It is uncapped and it's running at what my computer can go and handle. As you can see, I'm hopping around the map and I'm getting like almost 1000 frames per second just playing Crunker.io normally, which is pretty insane because I wouldn't normally hit this amount of uh, FPS if I was just using the normal uh, game application which I download to the computer. So overall, I get better FPS with this web browser, which is pretty cool. Now, some people don't want to play Crunker.io in the web browser. They want a dedicated application that is run on their computer. Well, my friends, that is very, very easy to do and we're going to show you two clients. The first one is the official one and then the second one is a custom client called MTZ that 
a lot of people have been asking about. All right, so for the official one, it's very easy. Go to Kronka.io, go and click in the top right hand corner. And as you can see, there is a few different installers. Now for the majority of us right here, we're gonna click the Windows one, but if you're running an Apple computer, click Mac OS, and if you're running Linux operating system, go and click Linux. But for the majority of us, go and click Windows. As you can see, it goes and brings up a nice little window, go and click Save. Now let that go and download, and I'll show you the next steps. So once it's downloaded, go and click that in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and it'll go and pop up and it will say something about allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes, just go and click yes. And as you can see, it's a little installer, really, really easy to do. Just go and click install and once that is all done installed to your computer, you can go and run Crunker through an official client rather than the web browser. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to close Brave and we're going to click yes and we'll see that run official crunker.o client is ticked. We click that and it'll go and pop up in an application that you can go and run on your computer. Now the benefit of downloading the official client is that the unlimited FPS fix is already built in. However, in my opinion, I get less FPS using this client than I do using Brave, which doesn't really make any sense, but Brave has inbuilt ad blockers and overall it, make, it streamlines the game a little bit more than this version. This is still very, very good though, and if you want the official, official client to go and run on your computer, this is the one to go and use. So with that said, let's now move on to the unofficial but custom Crunker.io client. Now I have to say this before we go and start, these clients are not made by the official Crunker developers. If you want the official, official client, click in that top right hand corner and then go and download it through here. These are clients made by members of the community and personally I vouch for them. However, if you're a little bit uneasy about using other people's stuff, then stick to the official one. But I have to go and say these custom clients are pretty cool indeed. Now the first one we're gonna go and show off is MTZ client, and then we'll go and show off C client, which is personally the client that I've been using for a very long time. I now go and swap between C client and Brave browser as my main way to play Crunker.io. So to go and download MTZ client, it is very, very easy indeed. All you need to do is Google MTZ client Crunker, and the first link right here will be to their Twitter. So go to there. And as you can see, there is a Discord link. That Discord link will be in the description below, by the way, if you don't want to go through the whole Google searching. But what you need to do is click this and it will go and take you to the Discord app if you have it on your computer. If you don't and you don't have the Discord app, it will just be free to browser, but it's basically the same method. All right, so once you're on the Discord, what you guys need to do is go to the info download section in the server info here. And as you can see, there is a download link for the client and it was updated a few days ago. The please note, I'm not giving you d the direct download link. As it says, please do not distribute the download links or client in any way without permission. So basically, I'm giving you the Discord so you can always find the up-to-date version of MTZ client. And what you need to do is just click this right here and it'll bring you to a mega.nz uh, website, which is basically a way for you to go and get the client. Just go and click download here and it'll start downloading in the background. And depending on how good your internet connection is, it could be very quick or very fast, for you, very quick or very fast, very slow or very quick for you to go and download it. All right, as you can see, my internet connection is holding up pretty well. It's a fairly small download, I think 60 megabytes. And once it's all done, it will go and pop up right here. So just go and save it to your desktop for now being. And as you can see, bottom left hand corner, it's now been installed. Now, the next thing that you need to go and do is just go and open up to your desktop. And if you have WinRAR or if you don't have WinRAR, it doesn't matter. You can still go and extract it. And all you need to do is go and right click here and it'll say extract the MDZ, MTZ client if you have WinRAR. And if you don't have WinRAR, there'll still be an extract version or a decompress version. All you need to go and do is click that and we'll go and put you into this folder, double click the folder, double click it again, and as you can see, this is the client. So that wasn't pretty, that wasn't difficult at all to go and do. So what you need to do in order to go and boot up the MTZ client is right here, where it says MTZ client v1, it's just double click on it. 
and what will happen is the game will automatically update to the latest version. All right, so as you can see, we are in the MTZ client and it's looking a little bit different. It's looking a little bit different to that of what you would normally see in Crunker.io. If we go to the menu right here, everything is positioned differently. Overall, MTZ it looks a lot, a lot different, but gameplay wise, it's exactly the same. The game is still identical to that if you just went and played it on the browser or if you went and played it on, let's say, the official client. But with that said, that is MTZ. And if you want to download it, the Discord link will be in the description below. Now, the next client I want to show you is the one that everybody has been asking me to go and talk about, and that's C client. And this is a client that I personally use if I'm playing Crunker on through a application on my computer. Otherwise, I'm using Brave Browser. So as you can see, the way to go and get to this Discord is through this Discord invite link. And I will have this in the description below. There's nothing that you can go and Google or something like that. You just need the Discord link and you can go and click that in the, descript in the description below. And what you guys need to do is just go right here to download and then click the download link. And this is updated for each new version. However, there is an inbuilt updater as well. So some patches you might have to go and reinstall, re-download the client, but some smaller patches, it will automatically update. But stay tuned in the Discord if you want to go and know all about that. And as you can see, this one, 44 megabytes, similar in size to MTZ. And we'll just go through here and it'll go in quickly download. And for this one, this is different to MTZ because MTZ had a folder that you had to go and extract. You had to go right hit, right click and go extract. However, with, M, uh, with uh, what's it called? With C client right here, it is simply just an installer like we had for the official official client. So it's a lot easier to go and get set up if you're not too you're not too cluey about how to go and do this extracting thing. All right, so what you guys need to do is double click the C client setup and it'll go and say Windows protected your PC. Now don't worry, this app is 100% legit. This program client 100% legit. It's just, it doesn't have a publisher. It says unknown publisher. So that's why Windows is a little bit, a little bit careful about it, but we'll go and click run anyways. And as you'll see, it is a very, very similar process to install the, in comparison to installing the official client. Go and click install. It'll go and install to your computer very, very quickly. And as you can see at the very end, it says launch C client. So we'll go and click yes on that. And as you can see, it says law. So it's made by a law member. Now to go and get to this client, just when you're just normally playing, you know, you're just booting it up right here and just in normal windows, just type in here, see client and boom, it's right there. You can go and pin it to taskbar as well. And same with MTZ client, you have to go into the folder of course, but you can go and right click here and then you can go and do pin to taskbar. And as you can see, it pops up there as well. So you can go and of course, go and click it from the taskbar. But this is a client that I've been using for a very, very long time. Heaps of people have been asking me about it. So here is how you go and install it. Fairly easy in my opinion. So I've been editing this video and I realized I didn't even talk about why I like C client so much. Well, the first reason is, as you can see, it looks basically identical to normal Crunker. The only big difference is, is there is an X button, there is a C client in the bottom right hand corner, but other than that, the game looks pretty much identical, not only from when you're in game, but also in the menus. However, it has all the FPS optimizations that a custom client do, does have, and that's why C client is better than the official client in terms of FPS. There are certain optimizations that make your FPS higher. So if you're in looking in terms of uh, you want the best, best performance and you, you want a client version running on your computer, MTZ or C client is the way to go. Now, the second reason, and this is a, a bit of a funny thing, but it actually does come in handy very regularly, is the fact that if you press F4, it lobby hops you. So it just puts you into a completely random room and you don't need to go to server browser here and then type in, you know, FFA or whatever, or whatever room you want to go into. It just puts you into a random room. So if I press F4 here. All right, so I press F4 and as you can see, it puts me into a free for all kanji and it's my perfect rage quit button. And if I just want to go and hop into another lobby and over Overall, it's a cool feature that overall just rounds out the package. All right, so some of you guys are probably asking, UCD, I don't want to download Brave. I don't want to download all of these other clients. I just want to go and play Crunker.io 
through Chrome and get unlimited FPS. Well, my friends, that is very, very easy to do as well, but your performance won't be as good as if you're using Brave. So what you need to do is go to Chrome and just in the bottom left hand corner, just type in Chrome right here and then go pin to taskbar. So as you can see, there is just another thing here. And if we go and boot it up when we go to Krunker.io, I've just imported my settings. So it's all the same from what we've been seeing before. As you can see, we are capped at the frame rate that of my monitor, which is 144 frames per second. So you might be asking, how do we go and get unlimited FPS? Well, my friends, it's basically exactly the same as Brave. So you go here, you right click on the icon, and once you right clicked on the icon, right click on here, it says Google Chrome, go to properties, and then copy and paste that whole dash dash disable frame rate limit, limit at the very end right here. So we've gone and copied that in, we hit apply, we hit OK. So once you've gone and done that, we'll click the Chrome button again, and then we'll go into Krunker.io and I'll full screen it to go and show you the difference between Chrome and Brave. So we go and hop in, and as you can see, I'm sitting around 300, 400 FPS, which you might be thinking, hey, that's really good UCD. However, on Brave, I was sitting around 1,000 frames per second in the web browser. So overall, Chrome just isn't as good at playing the uh, Krunker io as it is compared to brave so if you want the highest fps possible when you're playing a web application like krunker brave is the way to go in my opinion all right so with that said this is the way to go and get unlimited fps and how to go and install custom and official clients in krunker.io if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go and smash that like button and subscribe for more krunker.io videos and comment in the comment section below what do you use do you use brave now do you use the official client do you use mtz do you use c client go into Tell me in the comment section below. Bye for now. It's Undercover Dudes all the way from down under. Out.